Hi there, my name is Phil Lidgeton, Managing Director of Building Materials Nationwide, and today I'm on site with my old mate, Dominic Ellis from Neos Opus Limited. Hello, my name is Dominic Ellis. I am a director of a commercial fit-out business called Neos Opus, based in Guildford in Surrey. How many years have we known each other? Nearly 30 years. And then you set up on your own in, what, 2001, 2002? 1999. Then I set up in April of 2003, I think it was, and you were one of my very first customers. I've been in the industry for the best part of 25 years. And the thing that I like about working with your company, you have a personal touch. So you deal with one of our long-standing trade account managers. You deal with Oren. Now, just give me an indication of what sort of service he gives you. I can ring Oren at any time. I can ring him at half past six in the morning. I can ring him at eight o'clock at night. I can ring him on a Saturday. I can ring him on a Sunday. Half the time, I cannot wait for 24 hours for somebody to get back to me. And the good thing about you guys is there is an instant response to what I need. I'll give you an example. We're doing a small job in Wembley at the moment and we have to do some ceiling repairs. The very cute thing about Armstrong is that they change the product quite regularly. And they've changed the name as well recently, they haven't changed, they? Exactly, yeah. old school, Armstrong. Yeah. I've got an issue where the client has cut a load of ceilings out, got to replace some of the grid. The grid is discontinued as the tiles are, okay? so. I'm obviously trying to match a grid that's compatible with that grid. The client knows there's potentially a problem with colours and all those things. I send the profile of the grid to Oren. Oren tells me what I can have. Okay. Great. Cool. You know, and it's done instantaneous, and that's very important to me. Yeah. If you hadn't been able to do that with Oren, what would you have ended up doing? How much time would you have spent on that? Too much. Right. Time is a very precious commodity. You know, I run a small business. Effectively, it's me. We're running two or three projects any one time. We run projects from five, 10 grand, up to half a million pounds. Okay. But, so time is very precious to me. I do not have time to send someone an inquiry and wait three days for a reply. Okay. You now that, to be honest, cost becomes a secondary issue yeah. to service. Okay. And I'm sure a lot of people in my position would agree with that. You know, we're working to deadlines. I have labor on site. The labor needs to be paid. They cannot be productive if the stuff isn't there. You are doing about 95% of my dry lining business at the moment. We have a a uh, historical relationship. As I said, service for me is what it's all about. Cost, of course it's important, but that service element that I can ring somebody up and I can ring them, not necessarily 24 or seven, but within reason. And I can get the product as quick as potentially anyone can get it in the marketplace. For me, that's worth a million dollars. You know, I get a decent service. I get someone I can speak to who's been in the industry a long time, who understands the constraints and the issues you get on site and it seems to work oh. and that's important okay. to me. Cool. So, so I, I generally use building materials as a one-stop shop. So everything drywall, I think you're probably doing 95% of my business at the moment. So that for me is easy, isn't it? So rather than having to deal with multiple suppliers, I'm dealing with one point of call. So I can ring Oren up, I can WhatsApp Oren, I can ring Oren, I can text Oren and go, right Oren, can you call me? This is today's orders and I need X, Y, Z. I need them here tomorrow. Oren sorts it out. That's it. You know, I don't want to try and over egg this. It's a very simple process. It works for me. Most people, especially project managers or directors of companies are busy people, yeah? They do not have time to continually ring suppliers or ring five suppliers who can get me some top hats, who can get me some metal stud, who can get me this. I do not have time for it and I'm sure other people are short of time. Yeah, If you ring someone and know that he will take the pain away, yeah, yeah. that makes my life a lot easier. Oh, cool. I've got bigger issues to deal with than trying to find out where a pallet of plasterboard is. Yeah. Simple as that. What happens if you get told the delivery is going to turn up at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning? And it arrives at Wednesday at lunchtime. Well, yeah. Uh, what, what's, the, what's the process you go through if you're not using us and it gets to midday? Sometimes the industry fails to recognise that if a delivery doesn't turn up, the knock-on effect to the contractor. So potentially, you know, we, have, uh, we are restricted for space. I can't just fill this building up with pallets of plasterboard. So it's very much piecemeal, bring stuff in. I have laborers, so, so invariably, if I've got 10 tons of plasterboard sitting outside, somebody's got to bring them in. So I book the laborers, yeah? They're waiting for the delivery. I get told it's 10 o'clock in the morning. So the laborers get here at nine o'clock. People don't turn up with that material. I've got the cost of the laborers, still got to pay those guys. I've got unproductive guys on site, they have to be paid. So the knock-on effect of 
effective deliveries not turning up when they should to a company like us is significant. We could have something that's essential that we need to finish. The industry, I think, fails to recognise if a simple thing like a delivery is a day late, the knock-on effect, what happens to a site. And frankly, when you go back to them and explain all this, they're not interested. We've discussed a lot here how wonderful we are. Now, clearly, <laughs> clearly, it doesn't always go right and, and mistakes happen. How, how do we perform when something goes wrong? I think that's, again, one of your strengths, and it's certainly not a weakness that you do what you need to do to get me the materials there. We're not going to have an argument about who's at fault. It's a question of what have I got to do, guys, to get you the gear? And you'll put it on a courier, you just get me the stuff. We're not perfect, we make mistakes. We all live in an imperfect world, but generally you turn it around. And that's all I can ask. I would, I would just say to the marketplace, give the guys a try, I like them. They're decent people, they know what they're talking about. If you added up the years of experience you guys have got yeah. in it, it's considerable. And therefore, from my perspective, to deal with people who have the experience that I need, that's priceless for me. Yeah.